Good morning. I'm Gary Benninger, CEO of Ampower. This morning, I'm speaking to you from our facility in Southeast Michigan. As you know, Ampower has been focused on ammonia and ammonia technologies. The three principal use cases, of course, for ammonia are a fertilizer, a fuel, and an energy carrier. This morning, I'd like to bring you up to date a little bit about our IMM machine. IMM stands for Individual Ammonia Making Machine. This machine will be commercially available in the first quarter of next year. Leading up to this product, we've gone through several development stages. The first being, number one, actually making ammonia in our laboratory, and that was accomplished last November. The second step then is our demonstration machine, which has the capacity of making 50 kilograms per day. And we just demonstrated that unit six weeks ago. So our IMM machine will be a scaled up version of this demonstration unit. And our IMM machine will make four tons of ammonia per day. If you'd like to read a little bit more about this particular machine and, and what we're doing here, we've created a new website specifically focused on our IMM machine. And that website is iamm.green. That's I am green. So I think uh, if you want to get more details on it, you can go there, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll tell you a little bit more here. And that is that the focus and the reason we've gone in this direction with this particular machine uh, is number one, to get the, uh, manufacturing of ammonia closer to the end user. At four tons per day, the machine can be operated on a large farm at a distributor of fertilizers or a retailer of fertilizers. So we see that cutting the supply chain down and eliminating a lot of transportation, uh, middlemen and so on. Uh, the second thing that it does, it's economically feasible. And that is, uh, we've, we've made it of a particular size to, in order to make the ammonia that is sold by the distributor or retailer an economically viable concept. If you get too small, then you basically lose that. And, and uh, uh, we, we know of some people that are doing some uh, development with machines that are smaller, but we feel that... Uh, the greater than one ton and particularly getting into the four tons per day is really the sweet spot at this, or the place that we want to be. And of course, the third objective of this program was to reduce carbon emissions. Those are greenhouse gases and basically the source of global warming. So by using uh, or, or producing green ammonia, a number of things uh, go into this formula. Uh, number one is that the electricity uh, is produced by some renewable energy that removes the uh, a carbon footprint from from uh, the that is created by creating the electrical energy. And then second, uh, then when you actually make the ammonia, then the uh, we're not using natural gas, which is the traditional way of making the hydrogen that goes into the ammonia. So when natural gas is used, a lot of carbon dioxide is produced. So we're eliminating the carbon footprint at that point as well. And a third location where we're uh, decreasing or eliminating the carbon footprint is in the transportation of the ammonia itself, since it's being made very close to the end user. So that are, those are the three objectives of this particular program. And we feel that uh, uh, we're right on with this idea and that this, uh, this machine will be a real dis disruptor in the fertilizer space. So, so that's uh, uh, probably one of the, the big highlights of, of uh, our activities that are going on. Of course, we have larger projects, our port projects, but uh, we'll bring you up to speed a little bit more on those as uh, we move through the calendar year. So thank you very much for your attention. And uh, I hope that uh, gives you some more information on what we're doing here at Ampower and how we're changing uh, uh, the green energy space. Thank you again.